Well, BLGS day one is now in the books. And honestly, we didn't really get too many upsets, but there was one in particular that almost happened and it would have been a generational one. Falcons Esports almost getting day one. What is going on with this roster? Why are they not looking dominant? What happened and will they recover? Obviously still a lot of games to go. Any given day, any team can win. Let's keep that on the forefront of our minds when talking about all of this stuff. First off, I want to make mention the MEA scene. Obviously, they will be continuing on in their games today. You're going to see CSX. Oh, actually, let's just go through the, the big uh, you know teams in each group, right? You've got Go Next, BCGO. You've got a couple other you know big name teams right here, like Alliance, Exo Clan, Eternal, Gaming Gladiators, NIP. I mean, Group Two is pretty stacked. Phase Clan knocked them. I mean, it goes on. These guys are definitely going to be stacked in Group Two. So if you get if you get uh, round three in Group Two, then I guess you have some sort of excuse, maybe because that one is a little bit stacked. Uh, stay healthy also. DJP2 also got Forbidden Aurora. Uh, and so plenty of teams that are actually holding strong in this go round, right? We saw a lot of upsets the first time we did this uh, for the EMEA scene, not happening this time. Passion UA also, Danish, uh, Phoenix Legacy, Navi in here, Nemesis in here. So still looking good, still holding strong. Those guys will be playing today. And uh, so far, no real big upsets in the MEAC. Now for North America, let's go through these. The last couple of games that we had, uh, this is kind of where we have some more storylines, right? Nothing too crazy inside of group one. All of your big teams make it like Ape Gang, like Moist Esports, Gucky, Weave, right? Some of these finals teams. Broskis, Aboard, Dojo, right? Still looking strong. Those guys also, by the way, Dojo and Broskis tied for first but dojo was given uh the tiebreaker here a little bit of an upset though i would say for dragons right this is the south american team with panic and co those guys are really really good it sucks to see them get day one that's obviously not a good look also elevate i was looking at this one and they were actually struggling at one point like dead last in the first two games or so but they bounced back things look good elevate obviously moving on to the next round oblivion as well looking pretty solid redeem right if you're a big challenger circuit follower you know z davis has obviously been uh, trying to do a lot of uh he, he's been in the scene active in many many different ways whether he's playing or coaching or training or helping or whatever redeem in seventh place uh just kind of one of those things where if you know z davis you just gotta you gotta pay attention to redeem they have been competing in challenger circuits for a very long time also group four tripods in first on this one they look pretty strong stallions in second thuggets status quo uh you know so a really really good showing for the teams that we know right teams that should be doing good are doing good so that's good then you've got bleed esports in first for group five you've got nrg up here native all looking strong but take a look at group number eight. This is where things get a little shaky. Yup in first, Complexity in second, No Name in third, LG in fourth. And then you go down to see, look who barely squeaked on by. Falcons Esports in ninth place. Only three points from actually getting eliminated. Three kills, three placement points. Whatever you want to break it down as, they almost got eliminated. I mean, 11th place here was 23. They had 26, but 11th place had a third place best placement. Falcons only had a six. Therefore, they would have lost the tiebreaker if they were tied. Falcons were very close to getting eliminated. And I'm, you know, day one, I can understand some of these other teams that are pro, but they're like, yeah, you know, uh, whatever. Falcons, this is supposed to be the super team. This is supposed to be the best team in the world. So we thought, obviously, lately they haven't been playing like that, right? Moist has been looking really good. SSG won the last land. You know, they got last in the finals. I know we're still upholding an old expectation, but given the name and the size of which they are, I think we do need to hold that expectation up there still. But just thought I'd make mention of it. Falcons are barely getting on by, but they will be going into day two in it's around four. We've got four groups in this one. I think this one looks, uh, honestly, group one to me looks not weak, but I think this one uh, alongside group two look pretty fair, right? I think it's going to be less complicated. Now, when you look at group three, you've got Bleed, you've got NRG, Native, Furia. I, honestly, once again, I think in Liquid Alienware, you got some good teams, and I think all of them have a good three or four big pro teams, but they're kind of split out better than last tournament. Is that because the seedings have got better now that they've got more reps? I'm not exactly sure, but once again, TSM, Cloud9, in the last group, yep, Complexity, LG, 
Falcons, this one might be a little bit more stacked, right? Group four. So Falcons might have their work cut out for them if they're struggling with the other teams. Will they have a big, uh, you know, struggle today? Uh, so interested to see how that one goes. Also, some of these teams that are not necessarily, you know, ran by an organization or owned by an org, don't overlook them. Virtue is a very talented team. So is Ping Wingman. We know a lot of these teams and many of these go on. We know a lot. These are not just your random teams to look over. Vera, right? Moon, we know all, all Slater. These guys are longtime competitors. So this is not going to be an easy run to say the least just because it's day two. There there will definitely be some upsets in day two because there's just bound there's just bound to be there's so many good teams in all of the same groups now now also wanted to mention you saw some good performances today over in the emea scene with uh passion ua unfortunately enough we did get some unfortunate news from passion uh yeah we saw in group seven i think it was they got first place 78 i mean they, they did really really well but they did basically part ways with passion ua so the roster moving on and uh this the ceo comes out to say today we're bidding farewell to our apex legends roster we've seen a lot of organizations kind of do this but the players have shown their best form win for the first time since full-scale russian invasion of ukraine a full a fully ukrainian roster competed at the apex legends land we're very proud of the boys and thankful for this achievement however after the changes to the mobilization law were introduced in the process of getting approval from to perform abroad the, for the athletes become significantly more complicated we realize we can't provide the necessary support for the players to perform at the highest level anymore therefore we mutually agreed to go our separate ways how much does this suck especially for max Strafe, man max has been going through so many issues since he started i mean for years now it sucks man it's like whether it's you know or can't can't be a part of it or can't go to land you got to get a sub it sucks man it really does suck this is kind of the story of the apex legends career for max and honestly all uh ukrainian players but definitely max has been uh, one of the limelight of that so sucks to see all this happen but it is obviously newsworthy just thought i would keep you guys up to date a lot of games today make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date we'll be back at it later today if things get crazy enough i do expect some ups uh some upsets not that crazy to make another video but if it happens we'll be on it let us know what your thoughts are down below. Who are you predicting to win this one? Until the next time, we'll see you all. Later, Gators.